Today we're going to see how to make a can of soup. So this is the one that I designed. And you can see that I have the soup type sort of written up here at the top. So you know it's a vegetable alphabet soup. I drew a picture to sort of draw people in so they would want to eat my soup. I even spelled the word yum right here in the spoon. And I also thought of a product name. So my product name is called Super Soups here. Then I decorated the can and I put it all together here to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. So let me show you how we can do that. So we're gonna start with a sheet of computer paper and I have it sideways. So it's not up and down today. We're gonna to keep it sideways. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by folding it in half. So I'm gonna actually fold from the top down to the bottom like this. Make sure it matches up nicely and evenly and then flatten it out. So right now the fold should be on the top and the part that opens should be on the bottom. It's important that you keep it that way for what we're gonna do a little bit later on. And this is going to become our soup can shape. So what we're gonna end up doing is later on, we are going to roll this up and overlap it and put it together so that we have our soup can shape. Now, as you can see from this spot right here, we can only see a part of the paper, about this much of it. So when we make our soup can label, we need to make sure we only draw it on sort of a, this wide section here. So about this wide, I might even take a pencil and mark it so I know exactly how wide to make it. I don't need to be exact actually, but somewhere around that size, okay? So if I roll it up, I know that my whole label is sort of gonna fit in that spot. So I could even make mine a little bit wider. and traced and we're ready to sort of put it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to cut on this fold until in the middle and I'm going to leave just a little bit of space in the middle still attached. So maybe about two fingers but we don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exact either way but I like to have my um, my cut end or the little part that's attached be right over my advertisement. So right here I cut just over to the top. And then I'm also gonna cut on this end carefully, carefully. All the way over and just leave a little bit of space in the middle. So right now, if I lift this up, you can see that mine actually looks like it's just one finger there that has space for, but one to two fingers should be totally fine. And then we're gonna start to glue it together. So, if you have a picture that goes all the way to the edge, you're gonna to wanna to put glue on the opposite side. Since I don't really have anything right here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side here, like that. I don't want glue to be spilling out, but I'm just putting a little bit of glue there. And the only part that I'm going to be curling is the bottom half. I'm not gonna be doing anything with the top. So right now I'm turning this and rolling it up. And then the part that doesn't have glue, I'm gonna stick right on top of the part that does stick it together and then I can adjust sort of how big I make my can of soup. I could make it wider or thinner. We don't need to be exact here, but that's sort of what you end up with once it's put together. So it's already getting its sort of soup shape here. Now in order to make the top, I'm just gonna put this right on top. So I folded it so that the white paper is underneath. And then I'm carefully going to trace this. This part's kind of hard, so don't worry again about being too perfect, but just very carefully sort of trace around. If you press too hard with your pencil, um, then 
and it just pushes the sides of the paper in. So you might need a helper for this step. So you can sort of see the shape that I have there. I'm gonna darken it a little bit so that I can see it a little bit more clearly. And there's the lid to my soup can. But if I make it exactly the same size as this, which that's pretty good. Um, if I make it exactly the same side, size as it, I don't know how I would attach it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a few tabs. So I'm just going to make these little rectangles that sort of hang out in two different places. You could do three of them if you want. So these are actually more square-like, but they're just sort of sticking out. So when I cut, I'm gonna go around these and then um, go all the way around it. So you'll see in a second. So now you can see we've got our can and we also have our little lid here. Now to finally close it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these little tabs down. So they're gonna go inside the can against the side. So both of these tabs that I have, if you have three of them, you'll make, th or you'll make three of them fold down. And then I'm just gonna put a dot of glue on each of those tabs. There's one, here's the second. And then I'm just going to close this and put it against the side. Now, I didn't decorate the top of my can. You could color your can gray um, or leave some reflections to make it look shiny, but I didn't go that far today. I'm just showing you the basic steps, but it's just something extra you can do. You might have to flip this over to make sure your tabs are touching. And you just sort of hold it in place for a few minutes until, or not a few minutes, a few seconds until it's not moving anymore. And then you've got your beautiful can of soup ready to go. So start thinking for yourself, what kind of soup are you gonna make? How would you advertise it? And what your company name might be and put it together.